Welcome to the OSRs podcast. I am Mitt Macau. What's going on, boys? Rex is always. And it's me, Risk of Again. And welcome to another rendition of Emergency Podcast. The biggest thing just came out, the Wilderness Blog, boys. I've been waiting for this forever. But first, before we dive right into everything that's about to change for what I would say is the better, we'll talk about it. Let's go ahead and uh, could we get a thousand likes, dude? A thousand <laughs> likes, boys. All right. For somehow the last podcast, the Emergency Podcast, 400 likes, 500 likes. Insane. But this is the Wilderness Blog, bro. I've been waiting since I've been born. So let's build up some hype for this thing, boys, before we get into it. All right, Wilderness Boss Rework Design Blog. So we're not going to read it verbatim here, but I do want to cover this first sentence that says, On March 13th, 2014, we released a Wilderness Rejuvenation Blog that covered the resource area, which no one uses, the Edgeville Lever changes, I can't remember those, Wilderness Godward's Dungeon, full of bots, Fountain of Rune, full of bots, Looting Bag, Best Thing you Ever Seen, Dark Crab's oh, Dead, Extra Runite, or Rocks, I don't know what those are doing. And of course, they added the Wilderness Bosses. So 2014, this is the last time we got the just the rundown of everything. I can't even believe these Wilderness Bosses are that old. I thought so, they were like three years old. Dude. Min, would it, be fair, would it be fair to say that the updates that they brought back in 2014 weren't exactly a hit when they came out? It is definitely fair to say, but at the same time, like Wilderness Bosses, dude, at the time were kind of fire. Looting bag was huge. Other than, I mean, now we got loot keys, you know, evolution, right? It's like the evolution of PvP it would be a really cool video. Um, dark crabs, I don't know. I honestly, no one uses them. I've never used them. Garbage spot yeah. and then rune rock. So half were fails, half kind of molded the wild, and then they just kind of stopped for eight years. <laughs> eight years, bro. And we could say Rev Caves was in the game, but they deleted it. So. Either way, just wanted to cover that. Now we'll get into the Wilderness Boss layers, dude. So they're going to be adding this... Uh, well, honestly, if you could scroll down to uh, that little map down there. or Yeah. So that's what it's going to look like when, uh, when it comes in the game, unless they change it. So we got the boss layer exits, uh, Excave Cave exits, and we got bears, spiders, and skeletons, which are going to be spawned around the bosses. There's going to be one of each boss and this huge old... Peace. I mean, that's kind of ironic. A peace sign. I wonder if they did that on purpose. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, yeah, it's actually, it's gonna, yeah, it's going to be like yeah, the most right. dangerous part. And it's a peace sign. But uh, first thing to know about this layer, other than the bosses, is that you cannot spam the entrance. If you go in, you cannot come back out. You must make it towards an ex escape. Uh, that in itself is beautiful. I love the whole finish through, enjoy the content. It's like when uh, you do clue scrolls and you gotta go all the way over to, what's that one dead mini game? Jungle Juice or whatever. You know, they're making <laughs> you do that stuff, right? Whatever, <laughs> right? Well, tr trouble brewing. I, is yeah, that what whatever, you're bro. The Jungle Juice, <laughs> dude. It's, 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 it's making you do the content. I love so, it. Uh, would, you, would you say it's fair to say that Jagex uh, have learned a little something from the Revenant Caves when it comes to the entrance and exits? Is that what Not it seems like? Not only have they learned stuff, they've applied their knowledge to making people have to do the content. Because people are like, oh, dude, okay, wilderness teleport right away, bought it. No, no, dangerous reward. It can only be rewarding if it's dangerous. That's what they've learned, and they are just putting it to the test, dude. Another thing about this cave is you can scout it from outside, and you can see if it's active. But you cannot tell how many people are inside. So if you go into the layer, it could be a team, it could be a small team, it could be one person trying to solo this bitch, or it could be Macers. So, so for, from what I've read and seen, it looks like inside this cave, there's also then going to be lairs inside the cave, right? Where you're going to get the multi-version of Vetanatas, Vetion, Callisto. And you're going to be able to peek on that door or entrance, and it's going to tell you if anything's in there, but it's not going to mm -hmm. specify if it's no. one person or a hundred people, which you could be, getting, I love. you could walk into a gang, bro. I mean, we yes. might have to bring back the, the rock dark bow thing and just like, if yeah, ready no, up for whoever thing. enters the door, this is, this is really, really cool, man. That's actually like that, that, that sounds amazing because like you could just have your team there sat there all with barrage and chinchompas. As soon as another team falls, like comes straight through, yeah. it's just instant. Like this is bro. awesome. I really like this. Uh, yeah. Let's, yeah. Solomon, what do you think? <laughs> Did you say solo mesh? Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> the neck real, the fi the final so, boss in raids free. <laughs> yeah, he only gets taller. 
<laughs> from the next. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Rice, what were you saying? Oh yeah, no, I was saying like um obviously week one, you're definitely gonna see a lot of what you just said, right? Where where clans they, they all just park up somewhere and just wait for people to come through. Yeah. So there'll definitely be a lot of that. Yeah. Um and, and but, it's a it's about time that they got something, I will say, because Revenants Morty Revs was huge for the Morty P Cares. Mint, you can definitely uh tune into that because it was big for everything. That that's everybody. gone that's gone now. And sure, there's still areas in the world that are multi, like you could argue you could go to GDs, greater demons, but there's nothing there really to incentivize like yeah. large groups of people. This is going to be multi central. And and here's the thing. They're going to make the drops from these bosses really good, and the GP is going to be on par with uh, the Hydra and Vorkath. And if that's the case, there's always going to be an excuse to go to this place, which means oh, yeah. that there's always going to be an interest here, and it's multi. So I I'm really liking what I've seen so far. And once we skim down a little more, which later on, of course, we'll see even more rewards to go do these bosses. I mean, it's not just a GP per hour. There's some there's some things here that are game changers that I wasn't even thinking were coming to the game. Thank you, Aiza. I mean, they would kind of like, oh, maybe we're going to do this, maybe that on the Q&As, but they never really gave us the true full picture of what they have planned. Uh, but, yo, if this is not for you, if you're not a multi-cave person, if you're an Iron Man, you're sitting out there, you want to go grind something, don't worry. They got you covered, because guess what? Apparently, that's what we're doing nowadays. We're covering it all. So what if I'm not into the whole multi thing? Well, now you can fight these bosses. They're going to have their own single versions at 30 wild. The mechanics are going to be same, but toned down. They're going to be a bit weaker, and they're still going to have the ring drops, the D-pick drops, but they're not going to have the drops that you would want to risk for in multi, and it definitely will not be the same GP per hour. So if you're an Iron Man out there, and you're ready, you're just typing, you're in the comments, you're just... You can calm down. They got you covered, bro. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, here are a few of the um, like layers. And I'm assuming these are the multi layers that we're looking at here. Um, because, like Mike said, there's going to be two versions of each boss. There's going to be one that's in singles outside of the cave. And then there's going to be the bosses inside the cave. The ones inside are the multi version. And they're going to have a lot more GP. And they're also going to have a bunch of unique drops. But I think. The, the Vetanatis room. I it think looks this, so good. That, yeah, looks, that was so cool, man. Holy. I mean, geez. I'm so I'm so impressed with that. Like, I actually can. Like, the depth on it. Look how far away that cave is, by the way. Like, actually, is... the depth. This this is huge. Look how far away that cave is. And the boss is... It's insane. It's There's like so the much movie. room for yeah. activities, dude. <laughs> it's a horror could, movie, you dude, know? Dude, I could, I could just... In. I could Despite just imagine this. seeing like so many mystic sets and like rune armor just like scattered everywhere in there. It looks so good, man. Oh my god. It does yes. look like a horror movie rice for sure, dude. Um, and then and then we got the the uh Venom, Vedion uh, Temple. Uh, Vedion one, the temple. Yeah. Which yeah. also temple. like like this is the thing though, man. Like I 2014 was the last big wilderness rejuvenation, right? And this is so fucking Jagex. It's like they take such a long time with everything, and here's the thing, I know that Wilderness has been hugely neglected, nobody's, like, denying that, but, like, even with raids, dude, we've not had a raid now in, like, five years, right? But it's, like, it takes a long time for this content to come, and fingers crossed this actually comes out, this looks great. Like, it looks like they've actually poured resources, they've been passionate about this, and, and like, it, it doesn't take very much to get the PvP community engaged uh, and I think this is going to do a fantastic job. If this comes out, like I'm, I'm really excited for this. You know, you know, the best part is that not even that is wilderness content, but they're treating it like normal PVM content. They're putting the extra effort into these layers. Yeah. Dude. Well, not well, only the... that, but the uh, the fighting itself, dude. So if you go right below the Callisto, I want to kind of just jump into each uh, mechanic that we know. Of course, we don't know all the mechanics, but. Um, so while Callisto is still retaining his immunity to magic damage, you can freeze him now. So you can kind of play with those freezes. And he has a berserk mode. So it, once he gets down to a certain HP, who knows what happens, bro. We, we still have <laughs> no idea. But maybe he'll fling you around a room like a, a giant from Skyrim, dude. Who knows, bro? <laughs> I, I wonder... send you to the stratosphere, bro. <laughs> so I, 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 will, I will say this. I will be very surprised if they don't change the bosses um, 
anim like animation and look because I'm I'm gonna just say this real quick for any if there is a J mod watching this, it looks amazing. I love the room. Same goes for the other two, but the boss itself looks slightly underwhelming within this like temple. I I feel like there needs to be a visual rework of the actual bosses as well, if possible. If not, it's fine. Well, they I, they I redid Vidion. They, they actually redid Vidion. Oh, it they have. Yeah, ah. you can tell that it's redone. Oh yeah, of course. Now, okay, I, I'm indifferent in terms of how they look, but what I want them to do is actually make proper goddamn animations for the fights because yeah. currently, if you fight yeah, the boss, <laughs> yeah, currently if you fight the boss, you'll see like one random pixel hit you, and then you just lose like half your health. If you were fighting it legit, you know, mm -hmm. and you're just yeah. like, yeah. what happened? Like, like for example, when you fight Verion, bro. He'll do a, a quick attack, but it's no different from a normal attack. And then you'll just get a text that says, Bro, you just took an earthquake hit, idiot. You know, you're like, what? <laughs> you, can't, you don't even know what the hell happened. You're just like, bro, I'm like half HP. And For you no know what? You, you bring up a really good point it's there. Um, Fix like, that shit, please. That, that's a big reason to why they're doing this. Because if anybody yeah, hasn't honestly. killed these bosses in the current state, like... The most efficient oh, way to kill these bosses, garbage. the meta for killing these bosses, is just to bug them out. It is literally bug abuse. You basically have to pull them out of their aggro It's range. legal. It's they, legal bug it, It's legal, but you get them stuck and they don't even fight you. You just AFK attack them. <laughs> I hate them. it. It's so, you know, it's so it, ashy. It, it's boring, it's not engaging, and yeah, I, I think this is definitely overdue. If you think yeah. about it though, the new Vidion, or sorry, Vidonatus, that's, that's still going to be bug abuse. <laughs> oh, it's more like arachno. Oh, <laughs> arachno abuse. Oh man, I had to think uh, about that one for a second. Actually, but it's, it's not a bug. <laughs> so yeah, it's beautiful that they're taking these bosses and they're just going, "Hey, let's give them actual PVM mechanics." Uh, for Venonatus, uh, she likes her personal space and will make every effort to move far away from players, just kind of like a spider actually utilizing that web. So that she can bombard them with a deluge of range and magic attacks. These attacks get stronger for every spiderling left alive. So she has her own mini bosses. And if you don't kill those right away, you're probably going to get slapped up, man. Oh, man. So, so I really like that because you already know from reading that that meleeing this boss is just out of the question. It's not going to be efficient at all, right? Mm -hmm. It's like it's either going to be range or mage, which is it's like it's nice. Well, that yeah, they're at least that to start together. off. At least to start off. They're giving yeah. you some hints as to how you would probably want to approach it. But who knows? Us big brain, you know, calculating spreadsheeters with uh, part time jobs we might figure out some other strats. But yeah. <laughs> I think that's the more strat. Uh, is that what you guys call yourself? Spreadsheeters, dude? Is that oh, no, thing? I'm not a part of that. I, I don't. Bro, I've seen your I spreadsheet. Don't... What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I've no, but, but I don't you do it to make math equations. You know what I mean? You still like, I, I just... Rake, see, do you have a spreadsheet? <laughs> Hell no. What, what's yeah, a spreadsheet, dude? I don't have one either. Pre-collection <laughs> log. Pre-collection log. How are you going to show people what you had? Right? right? Like, that was just right. something I had. You know what I mean? But it's not the same. I'm a, I'm just, a, just, I'm just a casual. Right. Right. You just open up your bank and show them. That's how you do it. Like, here you go. Mm. There's the dragon pickaxe. I got yeah, well, it. Yeah, well, hey, if I'm bossing, I can't do that, you know? Ryan's got, like, five <laughs> dupes of every item, though. He's got to flex them on his yeah. spreadsheet. Like, dude, anyways. Isn't, isn't it interesting how people approach just... the game in similar ways to how they might approach their real life? Because I know for a fact yeah. that Rice Cup... If you had a regular job, dude, you'd have fucking spreadsheets in your day-to-day. -day, I mean, I'd probably be like, doing that's just, a job that's just that a you requires... Thing. No, I mean, I would be doing a job that requires spreadsheets, I'm pretty sure, you know, otherwise. Yeah, you'd probably be like a RuneScape data analyst or something like that, right? That's That's pretty pretty much. Much. I'll, I'll be analyzing some of this later, you know, but you guys continue. <laughs> uh, but yo, Rice, where'd you say the Vedion, um original <laughs> animation was from, though? No, they they didn't even really animate it. They just straight up copy and pasted um, one of the mobs from Legends Quest, you know? And that's it. It's that's fun. I and never they, knew that. And then they, yeah, told me today. Yeah. And then they just <laughs> coded a few things like invisible earthquakes. They'll just tell you that you got hit by it. That's it. <laughs> kind of sh goes to show that the the last wilderness rejuvenation van. There was some love there, but it wasn't a lot. Give <laughs> it, it, it. There was some shits, but not a lot. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So our team, our, our team has worked to bring Vidion's model up to scratch. For any of you lucky enough to have a Vedion Junior Companion, we'll be giving players the option to transform its appearance between old and reworked model. So I, mean, nice. I never got the pet, but uh, I wish right. I did, dude. I like yeah. that. And also, it does say here uh, that Vedion is being brought up to scratch with the other two. Now, maybe it's just me, 
uh like Reese said he's indifferent um what do you guys think watching the podcast for me i feel like it just looks a little bit underwhelming uh especially red in a like blue web like that i don't know i feel like there could be a, a bit of a yeah rework, no i mean it, they it's could a, totally it's a small thing totally... to ask it doesn't yeah, matter they if they totally do or not, you know. Finesse the look a bit, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure I, they might. Yeah. I'm sure they might. You know. Obviously. I think. You I think. I think the, they could uh, all do a rework. No, the no, the, the, the bosses yeah. themselves could do with like okay. a visual rework, in my opinion. But I'm just asking guys watching this, what do you guys think? Let us know. I would um, think the way that they did Verion do it to those two would be nice, you know? Yeah, because it's very I, I similar. So. It's so similar that you almost you didn't even realize they were it, the same. Right? It, it's but kind now of you like. Like, the, the, the way I see yeah. it is like if you're gonna go all this way with changing the entire environment making a cave and doing all of this it's like you kind of should just go the extra step and you know actually make the boss look slightly different or now match its environment because that I, think I looks, can agree with I can agree with that yeah I think it, like, I think this one this one looks okay because it, it matches the environment backgrounds but like the bears like it just looks underwhelming I feel like it needs to be bigger I don't know that's just that's just yeah, a thing. it looks like Winnie the Pooh you know Give him a hug. Can you can yeah. you zoom in on Vedion's feet real quick, bro? What are <laughs> well, those they... stompers, dude? Look at those things, bro. <laughs> Shoot, what are those, bro? Dude, imagine oh if you God. can get them as like a drop, and it's like the um the mole hey. slippers or something, bro. That you know, to be fair, that's what your feet would kind of look like if you were a skeleton. So. There's like four bones, like sideways. But you wouldn't under, but you wouldn't understand. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> that's he's, not he's how the dead, foot you looks, bro. Somewhat, so, but I mean, all right. Like, like, uh, I only... say, should we yeah, move on to the should well, we move the on to the rewards or what have you got? Info in? on Vedion yeah. though for for battle because it says taking on Vedion is all about awareness and positioning. He'll make use of his dodging. armor. It's a dodging lightning. base boss. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I just want to say on the Vedion layer, dude, that doesn't even look like the wilderness. That's why I love this update. It's like it's yeah. taking art. And putting it in the wild, it's not just the lag mites and gray areas and dead yeah. things, bro. I mean, who wants <laughs> to look at that? Every other MMO or, or PvP game, you're fighting in a beautiful environment. Why is RuneScape not the same? And now, finally, we're getting some of these environments, and they're lovely, bro. They're so you know, nice. I, I think that's such a valid point with all of this. You're right. The rest of the wilderness is like volcanoes, stagmites, and it's it's a little bit yeah, depressing. It's black you know? and gray and orange. <laughs> Like, mm -hmm. dude, I, I feel like, for some reason, I feel like I could be in this boss room killing the boss and just forget for a minute that I'm in the wildy, which is it kind is of, it's kind and of dangerous, like, do you know what I mean? just piles you, yeah. and you're like, oh, wait, I'm, I'm in the wildy. I'm gonna just be there in, like, full Torva, Scythe, just swinging carelessly, <laughs> and then the next thing I'm getting maced and uh, Zyrak Crossbowed for my, my plus one, but yeah. yeah. They look good, the Sorry, rooms look I, um... amazing, I'm, I'm super happy with the aesthetics on these rooms, they look fantastic. Oh, absolutely. I ended up missing some, some Vedion lore here. Uh, we'll also give Vidion some defense training, which he puts to great use in uh, de potent defensive positions. Uh, his signature That's skeleton like hellhounds will make a return, requiring your full attention while Vidion peppers the room with lightning attacks, dude. If that didn't sound like enough to deal with, after running out of health for the first time, Vidion enters phase two, which he already has, the orange one, and the orange armor has lower defense, but makes up for increased max hit and faster attack speeds. Oh my god! Also, so dumpster, there, bro. There's one more mechanic. It it has a shield deflect, so mm. you gotta watch out for that. Like a bully. So, yeah. Well, just, it, no, it, it deflects damage back to you if you hit it during defense. Ooh, like Venge. Okay. You yeah. know, I've just I've just had a fault here, right? So this room sounds like it's gonna be a little crazy. You got lightning going everywhere, and people oh, are gonna take damage. Yeah. Uh, it makes me think. Okay, well, for PKers that are going here, like Mint Mad Cow specifically to kill the players. Like, they're going to have to know a little bit about the boss and the mechanics of the boss, or otherwise they're going to walk in there and just get absolutely fucked, right? So yeah. I, I'm, I'm thinking in my head, like, I'm just like, maybe this is a ploy by Jagex to get PvPers, like, interested in PvM mechanics. And maybe, maybe this might give a few PvPers, like, the nudge of like, oh, damn, that's actually kind of cool how that works. I might go and check something else out in the game. Yeah, so I, they can completely obliterate the PvP scene. It's, no, it's possible, but <laughs> yeah. I will say, a lot of those top-tier PvPers are insane at PvM. Those people yeah, are, they, like, yeah. borderline gods, bro. I can't wait to can. Dragon Sphere people in the Lightning. <laughs> no, it's gonna. I think this will be interesting, right? Because then you'll have like you know a group of people doing the boss, mm -hmm. who who probably already knows a good amount of mechanics, and then yeah. you might have a team, a new team that they're only focused on killing people, but they don't know the mechanics. Maybe um, the team that's already killing the boss knows how to basically yeah. wrangle the boss mechanics to their yep. advantage, right? It, and, it, and just 
Dude, if Jagex Jag do a really yeah. good job with the mechanics of these bosses, mm -hmm. then PvPers are going to have to understand the mechanics of the bosses in order to kill the PvPers. Knowledge Be is power. Because yeah. you, sorry, the uh, the PvMers, because you know that the PvMers are going to learn the mechanics, and they're going to have an enormous advantage if they know, um, if if they know what the uh, mechanics of the boss in the room are, and the PvPers don't. The PvPers are actually going to be going in there, and if they don't know. Like, they're very easily going to die, I imagine. And this is like probably... Like, I'm telling you right now, I bet you there's going to be so much anti-PKing that happens inside of here. Like, I'm oh, sorry, yeah. dude. It's going to make I for some great sequence. As an Any... anti-PKer, I cannot wait. So, we're already, we're already excited for this update, and we haven't even got to the rewards. Well, I okay. just want to say, I have just recently bought one... Right when I woke up, I bought <laughs> one billion GP in every Wildy West, this and is, I hit limits this is on, not... like... Devit accounts, not financial advice. I always yep. lose in my merches. Okay, it's not telling you to buy stuff. I'm just saying that when you this read what's happening with these wilderness weapons, my buys are gonna make a lot of sense, dude. Like Bro, when you start helpful. reading, this is you, this, well, or I go is this a Ponzi either way for entertainment. What is yeah. this, dude? <laughs> dude All right, yeah. I, go as, on. as soon as I as soon as I logged in today, I was like. Dump the bank, bro. I still got the volleys, but I was just dumping all my PK stacks for Theremin Scepters, dude. <laughs> They're literally making this into a wilderness trident with its own special uh, attack. And of course, if you use another spell with the Theremin Scepter, it will also give that increased uh, accuracy and damage. But it will have its own attack, which we've all been waiting for. No one wants to have, like, a bunch <laughs> of runes on them. That's, that's just no bueno. Uh... So, Bryce, so I don't like, know if you want to cover the. Uh, oh the no! I'll let Rixie. I'll let Rixie yeah. read okay, whatever cool, she cool. wants, and I'll go through the whole stat stuff. So yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll read this stuff. Um, mm. This one's already in the game. Compared to the other wilderness weapons, the Crossbow and Vagora's Chain Mace, the uh, Thamarons. I don't know if I'm Thermons? saying that right. Dameron. Dameron. I think, I think. I think it's Dameron. The, the or scepter. Dameritides. It feels a little <laughs> lackluster. Uh, alongside this boss rework, we'll be reworking the scepter to a powered staff of a max hit equal to your magic level divided by three minus by eight and add four attack speed. That's one for Rice Cup to figure out. On top of a yeah, plus 15 magic hit. attack bonus. Uh, this means that in 99 magic, you'll be hitting up to 25 magic damage every four tick cycles. And I'm assuming that's obviously just... It's a worse just... trident for PvP. It, it's a what, sorry? It's a worse trident for PvP. What what's the max hit with a trident on its own? Oh, a trident can hit like thirties. Oh, okay, own. okay. Yeah. Uh, unlike other oh, okay. Unlike other powered stave uh, staves, this is new and improved offering. Uh, offering would be able to hit players since Crawlsbow and Vagor's Chain Mace function pretty nicely for getting a little extra damage off while escaping, and we didn't want to short change magic users. Um, so basically, you're going to be able to attack players with this, which is a first Sick. for weapons it, that have charges fine. inside. So I that's never been allowed oh, in the wieldy. I guess Ivan's Blast has its own spell. I was going to say it's the first weapon of a spell, but Ivan's has a spell too. Well, yeah, they can attack I, people. I, I think what it's saying though, right, is that it's going to become more of like a trident weapon where it's charged. I believe so. It's no not manual like it, casting needed. Yeah, yeah. So. so it will be the first non-manual casting. Um, weapon that has its own charge that can attack other players that we've had. Um, the wilderness bonus would be changed from plus 100 accuracy and plus 25 damage to a 50 accuracy and plus 50 damage against NPCs within the wilderness for the scepter standard attack. The same bonus would apply to non-powered spell cast with the staff equipped, though the scepter cannot auto-cast any spells. Right. So you can't auto cast so barrage with this. You spell. could fire surge like sixties or some crazy number, but you'd have to TVM click, mods, yeah. click, click, click. It would yeah. be awful, but you could, bro. Uh, uh, this is PVM, by the way. This is PVM specific. Because yeah. the bonuses it's, only it, apply to PVM. Mm -hmm. in both both of the regular attacks and any other spells cast by Walden the Fermo Scepter would consume effort. So they're not changing the effort. Uh, now for some new rewards. What better way to celebrate the staff, uh, but with another scepter buff? So double buffs, double Woo! buffs. Uh, double they're basically buffs. they're basically. Uh, tr well, I imagine all of these are going to be pulled, by the way. But they're trying to introduce the accursed scepter. So the skull of Vetion. So obviously this is going to be a drop from Vetion. 
okay? It's going to be a rare tradable drop from Vetion. What a shocker. A player with 85 crafting can combine the skull with the scepter to obtain a accursed scepter. Uh, if you don't have the 85 crafting, uh, Andros Mai and the Ferox Enclave will combine it for 500k. So, you know, that that's nice. So, yeah, this is basically, basically going to be an add-on to the scepter to give it an additional buff, which and I think remember, is, is a nice way to do it. This add-on is only from the multi version of Vedion, which is why it's so yeah. incentivized for you to go to the multi as a normal player, especially. And maybe for hardcore irons that, that want to, you know, go mm -hmm. for like the all next, the DISs. The next bar mm. is kind of spicy too, honestly. Okay. Uh, the Accursed Scepter is a tradable upgrade to the reworked Scepter with a magic attack of 22 and a max hit equal to your magic level divided by 3 minus 6. This means that at 9 hour magic, you'll be hitting up to 27 ma magic damage uh, every 4 tick cycles. This on players, yeah. Is that on players? Yes. Yeah, yeah, because like the bonuses only apply to the... So PDF. mobs, it would be like 40 plus... <sighs> He yeah. is crazy. It'll be tried in level. It'll be disgusting, type. dude. And that, that's yep. not with a cult, huh? Yeah. Holy so shit. <laughs> this occurs in the fifties, bro. Honestly. Disgusting, bro. Honestly. Tormented, imbued cape. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. 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 So so real quick, my, my question for you, Min and Rice, because you guys probably know more about this than me. So you do get a buff with the weapons, especially versus like the revenants and stuff. I don't know if that's the same with these bosses, but um so Should. what what would stop you just taking a regular trident over this this staff wasn't trident max like 37 oh what, what, i what mean right what's it max and uh, like best okay, slot so here's the deal i mean this web this new weapon against slayer mobs is definitely going to be way better than tridents yeah and and sayings yeah so so oh, just that, that would be the Slayer main Helm boost, dude, because you can uh, get like a, a spider task, go to like Venonatus and just dumpster yeah. it. Oh yeah. my god. So so that's the number one reason why you would have this over the other one, right? If you have this, then you clearly have the best mage weapon for certain yeah. you know PVM, right? Whether it's Lava Dragons, Scorpia, and maybe even, you know, the re, uh, the revised wilderness bosses. Maybe some of them are weak to magic, right? So okay. it could be a thing. So, and we didn't I, even I, talk I, about the special attack, Condemned. It costs 50% and performs an attack with 50% increased magic hit and 50% increased accuracy. So you might actually be able damn. to hit 80s, 80s and 90s with this thing on, like, you know, bosses. I don't know what PvP-wise you would hit. And you Not might be no able to, clue, but... you know, cheeky slap someone because it's a magic uh, spell, right? So if they're wearing some bad gear, then, you know, you can take them you out. You could, yeah, uh, anti-PK so, with that thing, just yeah. pity. Basically, yep. this is gonna this is gonna be very good, especially with oh, all the cage. Yeah. Oh okay. man, it's gonna I, be nutty good. <laughs> I just can't this. remember what the bonus is of using the PvP weapons is because I know there is a bonus for using it in the wildy, but that's fine. Yeah, it's, it's insane gonna be good. accuracy and insane extra damage on on. Also, okay, so um, the very last it says that on successful hit of special attack, it reduces your defense and magic by fifteen percent. So if you're out there mm -hmm. and you're anti PKing, not even in this area, but maybe you're just single anti PKing and somebody comes up to you and you just go no barrage for you buddy and you just bounce like you could literally uh, and you do it twice too. say brew back up nope you know like you could anti counter so easily with this special attack weapon there's so many uses i love it which is why mint's nice. buying 40 of them 80. and making potential bank i want to buy more but i, I don't want to <laughs> bullies <laughs> so i i'm gonna skip uh, this chart, unless either of you can make any sense. I mean, it. I can tell you what it's saying. Basically, if all these charts that you're looking at, the chart is telling you uh, these weapons, especially the upgraded version, right, that you get from the multi bosses, the add on, is going to be so much stronger than all the other weapons that you have, like, you know, rape here or whatever. Specific in the wilderness, right? This DPS cow shows that these new weapons in the wilderness is far stronger because you can see those two lines you know above the other lines there's a clear yep. like spacing right those those lines are the the new rev weapons or the rev weapons in general right yeah and the other and all the other lines that are close to each other at the bottom those are normal weapons so you can tell that you know it's just better it's just far better than the normal weapons and that's it that's pretty much all the graph is saying so okay. all right. are. i will take your word on that rice cup yeah all right this is Next the reason up. why i bought crossbows the web <laughs> dude, weaver bow bro. yeah dude this it's sounds wild this sounds Ooh. really cool i don't know why but this reminds me of um yeah. one of the bows from dungeoneering 
I don't know why I get Dungeon yeah, Hunter, vibes bro. from that name. Right? Yeah. Hex Hunter. No, a really good name. The Tebow is a Hex Hunter. Yeah. Very good name. Yeah, that's a, name. a nice name. I, I wonder it's if like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I wonder if there's <laughs> going to be like a visual change on these items once you apply oh, this new yeah, upgrade. Cuz that better, looks look like Dude, this they is going to be... Okay, yeah. right, let's... Right. The Fang of Venonatus will be a rare tradable drop from Venonatus, the same as the Skull from Veteon. Player of 85 Fletching can combine with the Crawl's Bow. Same as before, if you hadn't got the levels, you can get a Ferox and yeah. 85 k And also from Multi. It's from the Multi version. Uh, it's a oh, tradable yeah. upgrade to the Crawl's Bow. It requires 70 range to wield. Has 85 range attack bonus and 65 range strength. Compared to the Crawl's Bow of 75 range attack and 60 range strength. And gains a special attack Swarm which unleashes four attacks in rapid succession Holy with increased shit. accuracy. Oh, Each of those geez. attacks is capped at 40% damage. <laughs> oh, this thing sounds awesome. Right, can you use this on people is the question. Yeah. Or is it, you can use that on people? Oh, this sounds... Just, no, just without the buff. When know? it says rapid, yeah. does that mean in one tick? Or does that mean... Yeah, no, no, that, like, like, that means... Like, dang, I that think means it's Throne Axe. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's like, the Throne Axe speed. Yeah, oh, that means the rapid succession, yeah, it'd be like bam, yeah. bam, 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 oh. right? It'd be super so fast. You better combo eat during that time, or you might. How be much dead. special is how much spe fifty percent? Oh my god, you 50. could combo this with like a G Mall or something too disgusting. Oh, Bro, yeah. do, do you know what? Do you know what this reminds me of? If any of you, uh, our viewers uh, play League of Legends, right? You know when Ashley gets her Q and powers, and then she sends out like a barrage of arrows. I feel like there's Marash. been some inspiration from that. I, I like it. It's really cool. Uh, it costs 50% special, so you can do that back-to-back, -back, right? You can do two you of them. Better, you better play a range, man, or have yeah. a good gear on. Or man, you're going to get oh, destroyed. <laughs> uh, rapid, uh, with increased accuracy, each of those attacks count to 40% damage, theoretically maxing out at 160% damage if every attack max hits. On top of this, successful attacks have a chance to inflict poison on hit, uh, starting out Whoa. at four poison damage. So the basically, hell? they should give it venom. <laughs> no, dude, it much. makes it's sense because it's the fang of venonatus. Oh Wait. shoot, that's some lore right there. Oh, Yo, that man. could be some funny troll KOs with the poison. You know, the guy's running away. Four HP. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. So <laughs> that's the main clip right there. You know, Finally, you know, you, I'm the director. I'm a little Sorry, embarrassed to say that I bought everything before reading about the special attacks. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. I was just so hyped. I didn't even know, bro. This is crazy, dude. This man so, dropped so, his panties early. Mind you, mind it. you, the only thing with all of this, Mint, is I'm sure in the short term those these items will go up, but this needs to be polled. This needs to be approved. Does man. it though? No, yeah, I, bro. Does it, fight for, it? Uh, fight I mean, for podcasters, vote yes. Save Mint's career. Vote yes. <laughs> hey, I'll take a risk. I don't care, dude. Yo, look, I look, just want to see this happen. Even if I don't make money, I just want to see this happen. Yeah, I might not even sell it. Maybe I'll just keep it. It's just so you cool. You know, ja have, Jagex has condemned Mint. He has not received a, a shirt by them ever. So, it's, you know, just vote yes to this so he can actually have a job. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and maybe get, get, get the respect of Senpai from above, you know? <laughs> above the clouds of the UK heavens, you know. Look at yeah, me, Jagex yeah. Daddy. <laughs> Dude, I, I am praying for your bank. They they do say yes to this mint because but here's the I've thing. Lost Pe more. You're you're not the only yeah. person that's thinking what you're thinking. There's going to be loads of people that are doing the same thing. The price of the bow is probably going to jump up a, a bunch between now and like tomorrow, I imagine. So I mean, yeah, if you, even the week, bro, honestly. pump yeah. pump and dump that bitch. Chuck it in there tonight. Make an easy 100 mil profit. You know, but you know, know my, my we'll thought see. before we get into the chain maze is that even if half of this or most of it doesn't get into the game, they have already done the boss work, artwork, they've done the, the mechanics, they're gonna they've, yes, bro. They've, you know what I mean? They've done all of this oh, effort, so there's no stars, way bro. that not that, that, there's not like some rare drop that goes into these bows or weapons. Bro, Something's they, gonna they happen. Even, they even satisfied the Iron Man uh, solo yeah. PVMers, you know? So it, it's like, man, if you fall no to this, then you're just an asshole. Right, know? boys, like, boys. <laughs> Let, let's just cover these last rewards and we can talk all about yeah. that. Because I'm so yeah. I'm so into it. So the last one is the Chain Mace, uh, the Claws of Callisto. So Dude. cool. Uh, will be a Dude. rare tradable drop from uh, the Archaeologist. Just kidding, it's Callisto. Right, same <laughs> thing, but smithing right. this time. You can go to the Forest Enclave, you don't have the smithing level. So, uh, special attack. 
It hits with a massively increased accuracy. On a successful hit, it deals 15 damage over 6 seconds and drains 50% run energy. So it's like the Morrigan nice. Javelin. Do you remember the Morrigan Javelin from pre-EOC? When, if you hit the special attack, it would then tick 5 damage for whatever that hit was until That's it's done. Borderline uh, but, but terrifying different. and multi, though. Could you imagine being chased by like six PVMers with the, so the thing? <laughs> they just hit you once and you have no run and you just got to sit there and get whacked to death by like dudes in initiate or some. Oh my no, God. bro. It says damage is doubled versus targets with zero run. Disgusting, <laughs> 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 no. bro. Yeah. What is this? This is oh, like me. This is boys, like, bro. We're making dude, this, a video. It's over. This is it's literally over. like PVMers fighting back, man. They're like, okay, we're gonna put you in multi for some of this, but if you do go there, you're gonna be at a turn. If yeah, you bigger want. teams, bigger teams will triumph because they. I'm gonna make it my life goal to get dumped okay. by this one day. Right. So the chain <laughs> mace is it's tradable again. <laughs> seventy attacks of build has seventy one crush attack bonus, seventy four melee strength bonus. Uh, compared to the Vergur's Chain Mace, a 67 crush, 66 melee strength, and you get the special attack we just talked about. Uh, the special attack is 50% to use Percent it. Again, again, yes. Um, and yeah, li like I just described. So there's a few other changes, and then there is one final reward that Huge. they want to release from this. Huge. So I, I think these are no, worth... Hold your nostalgia boners back, guys. Yeah. Hold your nostalgia bone back. I, I think these points here are really worth going over because so far what we've heard is they're moving all of these bosses that were previously easy to kill. You glitched them out. You could kill them from single in most cases. Now you're going to be in multi and it's kind of like, okay, so here's the point I think where they're trying to appease the people who might at this point be like, oh shit, this is me just taking L after L. Okay. So... They're going to be adjusting the dragon pickaxe rate from King Black Dragon from 1 in 1,000 to 1 in 500. Um, uh, they're going to... Well, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. It's 1,500 to 1,000. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're, you're correct. So from 1,500 yeah, yeah. to 1,000. Um, yes. They're adding, adding the dragon pickaxe to the cow fight queen's drop table at a 1 in 400. This would be a longer grind than the existing bosses, but it's a safer alternative, which honestly, like that right there... Like, as, like, Rice Co, I don't know how you feel about this, we'll have to hear about it in a second, but, like, I know the Iron Men have forever complained about having to go to the Wildy to get the Dragon Pickaxe, and to be honest with you, wild. I, I, I kind of understand, <laughs> because everything else is outside of the wild, and now they're making it so you don't have to go there, like... Rice Cup, how, how do you think that the uh, Iron Man community are going to respond to that? Do you think that's going to go down well? Like, what's your initial gut reaction? I mean, they're going to be like, fuck yeah, no no more, you know, PvP for my D-Pig, you know, and pop a boner, right? But, I mean, you know, it's 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 not terribly hard to get a D-Pig from the wilderness. It's just, for them, a lot of people, a lot of people sign up to this game, this game nowadays thinking that, like, I'm going to do me and that's it. No one's going to stop me, right? But but of course the wilderness is like that one thing where it's like, wait, what? It's it's actually not like that. I I die to people, you know? Like yeah. I can't do my thing without getting obstacled basically. So for them, I mean, they'll love it. I, they they're not going to complain about it because like you can get a, you know, D pick from like Alpha Queen. Yeah. So. I, I I really, I actually think this is <clears throat> a really 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 good thing they're doing here because it, it it's kind of like the the payoff for the Iron Man and people that just have no interest in being in the Wildy is that you no longer have to be. I, I guess the only question other than I have the other jobs, right? <laughs> yes, that that's the only question I have for you, Rice Cup. So oh the ring the rings that you get from Callisto, Vetion, Venonatus, um, how important would you say that those rings are in a PVMers everyday arsenal. Bro, like it's 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 niche, bro. It's niche. I'll be honest with you, it's niche. Like okay. uh, Time Radical is incredibly niche. It's just mainly for Corp and um, yep. you know Ring of the Gods. It's definitely the most bang for your buck. Yep. The the Ring Treasonous Ring is dead dead content basically. You know. Okay. Ever since so the DPS Andes told people Berserker Ring is always better. So um, so here yeah. here's the difference, right? Here's the difference, right? The the thing with the rings, you know, it's a it's a it's a drop inherent to a specific boss. And if it's in the wilderness, okay, you know, like you can't argue too much for it, otherwise you're just being greedy. Now dragon pickaxe though. 
is is it usually it originally back in the day in the other game came from the dwarves, which lore wise makes so much sense. Oh yeah, they're the dwarves. You know, they they of course they have the best pickaxe. And then all of a sudden, in old school, when it first came out, people were just like, "Wait, what? You're just putting a D pick in the wilderness to some random ass bear spiders?" You know, and like this this cop out from Legends Quest, like. Come yeah. on, man. You know, so a lot, of, a lot of the Iron Man, obviously, their excuses. It doesn't matter what the excuse is. They just have an excuse, and that's, like, their excuse. Is that, like, yeah, bro, yeah. the deep pick is, why is it in the wilderness? It's so random, you know? Yeah. So that's, I, I that's kind of, like, their main argument. I mean, the thing is, like, a dragon pickaxe is, and I completely understand this, it is quite important for any account that is planning yeah, to do oh, mining, which is, you know, Iron Man, you're going to do that. Important, yes. So, you know, the fact that it's that important like so if you were to compare the dragon pickaxe to say the rings in comparison the rings have very niche uses and in some cases are useless right they're kind of cases. like <laughs> in most cases whereas yeah, the dragon probably. pickaxe you're gonna use it basically in so many things not even just skilling like when you get to doing raids etc like uh chambers it, yeah. it's an item that is really really nice to have in your your collection right so I don't know any Iron Man out there that are reading this. Um, let us know. Just right? yes. do you, what do you, you think go. of you this? Oh yes, support the post. I will. I will want to say though, attach on to this that I fair enough have your pick from a monster, and then apparently it says maybe from a high scaling thing. That makes sense too. But I guarantee the D pick will start falling in price, and I don't know if that matters yeah. to Iron Man. It don't really no, matter to go. me. But uh, if you've seen the Dragon Axe. It probably won't get that bad, but it's definitely <laughs> going to be similar. Because the Dragon yeah. used to be 3 oh, oh. mil when OSRs came out. I used to merch them. Now they're mm. alk file, you... They're like 50k. <laughs> or yeah. it's, so it's this sad, is what you man. guys want, this is what you get. Yeah, I don't. I, I remember I remember the days of them being like free mill from DKs. And uh, Dragon oh, yeah, was, back a, in the day. was a sick drop, man. It was like the first... I merged them. Dude, the first good PVM drop I ever had was a Dragon Axe from the DKs, like way back in the early 2000s. Yeah, it was like 2008 or something yeah, yeah. for me. Yeah, I, I th that was that was great. So, oh, right. yo, fun fact, fun fact. I remember back in the old day, D D Axe wasn't that good, and and so the price of it was like trash even back in the day. And then they buffed it one day, and then it just became three mil overnight because of that. And then we yeah. all went went camping. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't 15 percent uh, faster. Dude, then room, room next. Bro, they actually buffed it later. You, you've just unlocked <laughs> a memory in my mind yeah. of when you used to woodcut back in the day and there was a chance that your fucking hatchet head would yeah. like fling off somewhere. Did that happen it with is. the dragon pickaxe? And if so, yeah, do you, I think you reckon, so. Exactly. Do you, like, because I was so AFK when I did that stuff. I imagine loads of people lost their dragon, uh, sorry, their dragon axe while woodcut. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. All right. So you anyways. can pick it up too. It'd be like a little chunk on the floor. Yeah, I yeah, stole someone. Oh, that's I lost amazing. Mine. Yo, I lost mine and then I took someone else's the same day. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> like a few hours later. <laughs> oh, that's so yeah. good. I love uh, it, dude. Ah, boy, I crazy. love it. Let's get into the spiciest thing it's so crazy. far. This, Something this that is, I don't yeah. think anyone saw coming, bro. No, I didn't. I didn't. The Void Waker. Okay, so I'm going to... That sounds gonna, like... We're going to go through this. Yeah, this this was the last thing I read on here. And as soon as I read this, I was, very, I was put in a very, very happy mood just overall reading this. So, right. Some kind of new PvP weapon with void associations. It rings bells, but nothing familiar is staring back at us right now. Each of the three bosses that are in multi, so the hard bosses, are going to drop the blade, hilt, and crystal. So you're going to get one of each from each of the bosses. Uh, the components, uh, they're tradable. And an NPC beneath the old knights will offer to resemble the void uh, waker for 500,000 coins. The completed Void Waker is also tradable, behaves like any other item on death. Okay? So this is a Dude, tradable... Knight is making bank, by the way. I'm just saying. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Uh, <laughs> but bank. Just, just real quick. He's saying, no, boy. What, the old knight. Where is the old knight in the game? I'm guessing it's an NPC. Is that um, a reference to the RuneScape player, by the way? I think it mm, might nah, be. Yeah. I, I, might probably, I wouldn't be surprised if you gotta go with pass control. It, it says... An NPC beneath the old knight. I, I'm not entirely oh, sure. Oh, the old knight is Farb's Enclave, I think. On uh, the bar, it's like a bar. The bar. Oh, okay. It's one okay. of those bars. Okay. I just I don't know which one. It's one of those. So, so this is a tier 75 melee weapon requiring 75 attack, 75 strength, and 60 magic. And I read this and I was like, 60 magic. I was like, right? What the that's hell? That's weird. Like, what? What are they talking about? Let's get to it. Uh, on top of offering. Magic. Come on. 
<laughs> on top of offering a best in slot non-degradable option for training strength for any 75 attack builds which is so cool because this is catering towards med levels okay med level accounts you're looking at 70 to 75 defense 75 attack 99 strength everything else that's combat 99 and it hits you in that combat bracket which is like sort of like mid level 100s right it's the same as the last man standing build and it's so cool that they're taking that that account build into consideration because it's been a build that has been kind of like unloved and just has been a thing forever that's awesome uh the void waker has a never before seen special attack disrupt disrupt costs 60 percent special attack energy and deals guaranteed magic damage between 50 and 150 percent of your melee max hit we lied about never seeing this before. It's Karassi's sword with a fresh yes, look of pain. And I fit a little bit better with an old school. I'm having all the pesky skill requirements. Now, I'm I'm just going to throw this, my two cents on this out, if I may. So, I PK'd all the way through pre-OC, all the way back. And I feel like people always remember the Karassi sword with absolute rose-tinted vision. But I also think that a lot of people that were using it were kind of like entry level mediocre people who were PKing. I'm not gonna lie. Because they here's made the videos on YouTube. Here's the reality of the Karassi sword, okay? It costs two hundred and fifty thousand coins as after a quest completion that wasn't difficult, and it was effectively an AGS that costed two hundred and fifty K. Now I'm not gonna lie to you. It was, in my opinion, it was broken for just that reason alone. I liked the weapon itself but the fact that it was a 250k budget AGS made it inherently broken. The fact now that you have to go and kill the enraged Vetion, Venonatus, and Callisto all in multi to be able to get this, so there's a massive um, like barrier wall to entry to even get this item, makes me feel really good for this. Because it's not just another easy 250k one-click buy item. There's steps that are difficult in getting this. And the fact that they've actually like fought that out, like good job, Jagex. Seriously, do you, like do you guys well think done. that we are now seeing the most expensive weapon now? The newest most expensive weapon. At least for the wilderness. I, for think, no, I think overall. Dude, I think it will uh, match Dragon Claws, maybe be a little bit more expensive. No uh, way. I, I don't think it it's going to be, be, be... I think it might be more expensive. I think it's going to be it one deal plus item for a Do you long think so? time. Depending it on how first. hard those bosses okay. are to farm, because you need a, f a piece from each, and then you make it. Uh, well, here, here's insane. the deal. So unless they're it, being farmed 24-7, these pieces are just getting shit into the game, I think this is going to be one of the most expensive items. I, for I think there's, while. I think there's one big issue which the blog does mention is that you can't back to back spec with this weapon. It's sixty yeah, yeah. percent spec. Yeah, off. yeah. So, so, so back it's in, not as good as D claws in a lot of ways, you know. So back in the day, and they've literally put that here. You used to be able to get something called a ring of vigor that you got through dungeoneering, and basically what that ring would do is it reduced the spec that you would use once it was equipped. So basically, you could uh, dragon claw into a Karassi spec, or if you were really bad, you could do a back-to-back -back Karassi spec, which was terrible because there was a delay between the two attacks. And honestly, that was the least of concerns. The D claw into the Karassi was instant. The Karassi into the Karassi, that's the kind of shit that noobs did. But regardless, they've addressed it. Works it works sometimes, though. <laughs> I, I mean, if you were yeah. really bad, sure, it'd get you. But I don't think that I don't think players nowadays are that bad. I, maybe I have but, too know, much faith in people. Think, of, I don't think know. about this, though. Even yeah. though it's only one special attack, it's going to be incredibly strong. Everyone yeah. loves the Karassi. And not only that, the bosses that are now coming out, these aren't going to be the single-way bosses. It's going to be the multi-way. you got to kill all of these guys for a piece. Supply and and these things are going to be incredible incredibly difficult to kill apparently i mean they got two phases they got rage mode and it's dangerous i mean probably the most dangerous content in the game so, so boys we've covered the rewards we've covered the changes now let's talk about the brass tags do you guys think that this is going to pass do you think this is this is going to come into the game like i believe what, so. what are you I guys thinking so. i believe so uh, what about you mint yeah i was saying uh earlier but i'll I want I want to go into more depth that even if all of this doesn't come into the game, they've already overlaid such a beautiful foundation 
for not only Iron Men, but also PKers. It's also super dangerous. The clan people want it. And now now everyone has the, the hopes of incredibly strong weapons in the wild and a Karasi, dude. I mean, we're all playing back on those nostalgic memories. So maybe not everything passes, but something's going to pass. There's like, no way it all like, doesn't pass. And even if it doesn't, they're going to go through with it either way because they know we need something in the wild. So something's coming in the game, whether they like it or not. Yeah. Something's coming yeah. in. I don't know if it's going to be the whole thing, but dude, something. I think what they've done here that is particularly very clever is, and I think this cannot be understated enough, that they have focused on the bosses and the bosses' mechanics. Like, first and foremost, like, the rewards sound great and it'd be awesome to have them, but they've figured out something here, which is, sure, the J mods, and I'm sure they would be humble enough to admit this, they may not exactly be as attuned with the wilderness and PKers' faults as maybe they should be, but they certainly know how to bring good PvP, uh, sorry, PVM content into the game. And it sounds like that's going to be the major focus with this update, is that they're trying to make these bosses as engaging as possible, and they've also made them relevant even without the drops that we're going to have to vote on, just through the pure GP that you're going to get. And what I'm saying by that is when they've said that it's going to be similar to Vorkath and the Hydra. But they've focused on what they're good at. They're good at making bosses with mechanics that are fun and challenging. And I think that that approach is so different from anything that we've seen for PvP content. It's never been about the boss's mechanics. It's been entirely about the GP. This is a significant change that they've done here, and I'm really hoping that the player base are going to look at this and be like, you know, they're they're actually learning from their mistakes because I think this looks fantastic. I really do. That, that that honestly is a great point. And then to add on top of that, it's not even just a PvP update. A lot of this is PVM related. A lot of the special attacks from those new weapons are PVM related. Um, so like, if you're looking at this from a PVM standpoint, you should be like, oh. Dude, that looks awesome. You shouldn't be afraid to go try. You should go do it. I mean, you don't have to risk much. Get a get a bunch of people. So it should actually excite you to go in the wild, and then you have these weapons that you can fight back with, right? That can do some real damage to people trying to attack you. Anti PKing has never been more uh, attractive right now for Deep Wild. So yeah, I, I love um, this. I there's do. i'm sure there will be some things that will get a lot of drama uh, or just won't pass like some of the special attacks you know i i, I think jagex knows that they really got to push a really well executed idea this time around or ideas right so they have all multifaceted, you know perks right here uh with this blog so there i i think the their goal is that okay we're gonna make this so comprehensive that it, you know that people are gonna Probably gonna try to fight it, but they can only take down so much, right? That uh, some of the meat will will still pull through, right? Will come come into the game. So I think I think they're gonna target the specs. I think a lot of no players or the people that are anti PVP, they're gonna be like, oh, the specs, take that down, take that down. So so it'll be like you know they'll they'll suspect it and they're like, oh whatever, okay, that doesn't pass, but everything else will kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah. So not to not to mention if it does hit the polls, what do you think the clans are gonna do? I mean, they're they're like, vote. Vote. No, vote. Vote. no, they're yeah. going to get everyone that they know and their mother to get on an account yeah. vote. Yes, because sure. they have nothing to do. They're literally locking down a castle that's dead. They're just sitting there. Get the second floor. Get the. There's no one fucking out here. What are you even doing? They are so bored that they are just making up shit to do, bro. They need this. They're going to be insta voting yes on this. So even if it does go to the polls, I feel like we have a very good shot at getting most of this passed, especially yep. if we got the clan boys behind us. I think yeah. something also to consider is that Jagex have been experimenting now for the last year with PvP and the way that the polling system's been specifically for that part of the game. Like, they've been doing experimental poll runs for it, and they've been looking at people that are voting for and against PvP and whether or not they're in the wilderness or not, which um, I, I, think they, I think they're anticipating for this to come out. Like, this oh, is... Oh, yeah, they're hopeful. Like... When you compare Bible, this, bro, of course. they're confident, they're hopeful, they have layers of defenses to stop the haters. Yep. You know? This is very they well do. thought out. Very well thought out. And I think that they've, you know, they've 
they, they've done a lot here to try and cover themselves. And um, I also feel like they've done a fair bit here to the point where they're expecting the players are going to react positively to this. And um, I believe Mod, uh, Mod Goblin was the guy who wrote this uh, this whole thing up. And I know Mint Mad Cow has an absolute raging for that guy right well, now. Well, I'm just saying so. Aiza <laughs> tweeted that this was big part on Mod Goblin. And I literally said last week that if there's anyone going to put us through to wilderness, it's going to be the man that does not give a shit about Reddit's opinion. And that is Mod Goblin. Well, he cares, but he, he goes, he like, he, he just he fights the power, drives through, man. bro. You know yeah. what I mean? So I think, um, bro, bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can reach out to him. I, I think he followed me on on Twitter and my stream. He the followed other day, you, so. not me, <laughs> bruh. Dude, what can I say, dude? He's disappointed. That... <laughs> he probably maybe I. Oh, dude. What I if mean, my guy when Seek really hates me and I'm just his biggest fan, dude? Bro, he, I, mate, uh, listen. The the induction process at Jagex is they show you a picture of Mint Mad Cow, and if you if you, <laughs> you if you spit on it, dude. Yeah, if, if you don't show it some kind of violence in that second, you don't get the job, dude. <laughs> it's like, what do you think of this face? It's like the That's first dagger. sentence is like, let me tell you about this guy. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, let me tell you how filthy weave he is. Dude. Listen, uh, I, I, well. I, I'm buzzing. I, I've said everything I, I think about this. I'm, I'm very excited yeah. to hear. Yeah. I, I, I want to hear feedback on this video. Boys watching this, please... What do you guys think? Let us know. Are Hashtag you outraged? Save Wilderness. Have you are, are you excited? Are you angry? <laughs> Let us know your feelings down below. And uh, yeah, I, do you guys have any closing statements? Oh, I do want to say they, they said something about like, we'll never have Ring, Ring of Vigor in this game. But that's bullshit because they said that just to please the Karasi haters. But here's the deal. They could just make it so that the ring doesn't wear in the wilderness. Done. Yeah. Right. So then they can bring it into the game because it'd be nice reward for something, but also not screw people over with the back to back Karasis, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. I think that's it. I don't have much else. I'm just, I'm just happy, dude. I got, you know, I mean, I bought a bunch. <laughs> I'm sitting here. I've been tweeting like crazy. I mean, shoot. All, you He's know what I'm doing right now is I'm mentally picturing myself getting used to a new area. Because right now, when I close my eyes and I go to bed, I just dream of really empty rev caves and I just wander around. <laughs> so now I'm thinking, like, Whenever this happens, I'm going to be like the happiest little kid in a candy store ever. I'm going to have all these new areas to play with. I just got to, I just, I can't even realize how different it's going to be and how active it's going to be now. I'm just, I'm getting myself prepped. You know, that's yep. all I'm doing. Mentally prepping, bro. Literally, yep. it's the, it's the month of mint, you know, it's the month of cows, bro. Month of cows. Jag Jagex has no choice but to accept you as a full fledged, you know, creator and send you this shirt finally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but I'll take it, dude. Uh, uh, yeah, all right. All right. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, good job, good job, Jagex. Yo, hashtag save wilderness if you reached here. And leave some you so know, excited. criticism, feedback for them, because I'm sure we can maybe send some of this to uh, Maul Goblin and, and his cohorts. So. He's like, you know, I come on the podcast, but you got that hairy bitch in the top left, and I just don't <laughs> like that, man. You know, Goblin, if that's the case, dude, I'll bounce. It's okay. You'll take solo spot, and we'll do a trio, yeah. and I'll just be gone, bro. I want yeah, to just, just come on over. We want to talk to you.